Hey guys, let us begin with the Inside Current Affairs. So we are doing the De- December month theme. So the first fact is about the Lusophone world. So India strategically engaging with new geopolitical grouping. Portuguese speaking countries formed a grouping called Lusophone. So India is hosting, uh, hosting this international Luso Fest in Goa. Nine countries together like Portugal, Capverd, Guinea, Bascavi, St. Thomas, Prince, Angola, Brazil, Mozambique, Macau, Timor. So these are the countries which are part of this particular grouping. And the next news is about Jagdish Chandra Bose. So this is uh, the Ministry of Culture. It organized an international conference on him on account of his 164th birth anniversary. Discoveries are wireless communication, that is, he is called as the father of radio science, invented crescograph, millimeter range, wavelength microwaves, Bose Institute, Bose Institute, 1917, teacher of, he is the teacher of S.N. Bose, Meganag Saha, P.C. Mahalanobis, and he also uh, conducted a satyagraha against slavery. And the next news is about Dominique Lapeyre. So French author, he is a French author who died recently at the age of 91. So uh, what is his deep connection with India? He is a founder of City of Joy Foundation and he also wrote a book called City of Joy. And what are his other books? Five Past Midnight in Bhopal, Freedom at Midnight. He also got Madhma Bhushan Award in 2008. And the next news is about the Supreme Court, it offers to find solution to the rightful conversion. And the next news is about the Badma. So this is the Print and Digital Media Association approved a self-regulatory body for publishers of news and CEA uh, under Article 12 of IT Act. So Rule 12, sorry it is Rule 12 of IT Intermediary Guidelines and Digital Media Ethics code rules 2021 and its head is from Hatsi judge uh, so its head is former Hatsi judge Mulchand Garg and the next news is about the national single window system so this is to help realize PM's vision of transforming red tape into red carpet national single window system so it has advisory tool to identify approval based user input So that's all for today. Thank you.